Welcome back to my channel. This is Steve's Trains at Top Shed 34A. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Steve here. Welcome to my uh, my workshop. You know the name of the joint, don't you? My railway. It's West Green. Uh, my alter ego, Man of Alanian, Sivarastubramanian, Station Master, West Green. Oh, I think I'm too much like Spike Milligan. <laughs> Funny. Um, so this is my workshop, and I'm doing a, this is a different video, not so much telling you what I'm doing. I'm more interested in telling you what I've got as far as my workshop bench is concerned. I've got a whole room, I live here in Australia, this is a big house. We've got uh, four bedrooms, a study, huge living areas, you name it. And you'd think everything should be just it's pretty to die for for a lot of people, especially if you live in a really small house in the UK, like we did. It was a cute little three bedroom place with seven of us in it. No bathroom either, blimey. Sunday night baths. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. So I just want to talk about my workshop. I'm interested in, uh, I never quite feel comfortable in here and I don't know why. Is it organisation? I don't know, I just, I can't put my finger on it. And um, I don't know why. So I'm going to show the workshop uh, and it'll be interesting to know what people think. Uh, maybe it's too cluttered, maybe we've got too much, maybe less is more. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. So this is, uh, this is one of the living areas. We've got two more. But anyway, front door. And this, oh, this is Ruby. Hello, Ruby. Yes, Dad, I'm Station Master's dog. Oh, I'm mad. I blame Johnny Morris for that. Tales of the Riverbank, Hammy Hamster and all that sort of stuff. So here's my study. Oh, got a nice view out the front. So I've got a computer desk there, filing cabinet. I've had this for a while, roll top desk. I've got a bookcase here with all, all my l and &R. Got those books in there. I've even got a set of greenies, the old RCTS greenies complete set. I've got a test track up there. A few uh, things, uh, you know, uh, what do they call them? Photos and whatnot. Or paintings and... Uh, look at this. I did this. I painted this. 1966. When I was at school in Auntie. I'm not good. But anyway. Uh, but anyway, so here's my study. So I've got a lot of junk down there. I've got unfinished Kirk kits. Martin Finney kits in there. There's a few, oh, and a deer market. Uh, so I got this, and I was modelling on that for a while, but I felt a bit sort of hemmed in by it, because uh, you've got to have room to put all your gubbins and your tools, and then I'm, I'm the sort of person, when it's messy, I know we all get messy, but after a while, it just demotivates me, so every now and again, or lately I've been doing it, I've been cleaning up. So I've got this, I've got bits and bobs in there. I've got all these, got those from Aldi. Uh, and here's my desk. So I've got plenty of storage. But I've got my, I've tried to organize myself a bit. Well, I've even worked out, but having, the, having stuff over there is too far, I've got to reach over. So I don't know, I'll just be, I'll be, I'm after some input for what people really think. Uh, is it just me? I mean, I've got a light, I've got chairs, I've got all my soldering irons there. Uh, so I had to pause it because I wanted to think about what I was going to say. So I've got this desk here. Maybe as I've got plenty of room, I could take that outside and clear up the space. Um, I just feel a bit claustrophobic. Maybe it needs to be repainted. Maybe it needs to be pink. Maybe I was like, need to, anyway, I don't know, that's silly. I was thinking maybe I should just dedicate this to painting. But then like my air, my um my uh, spray booth, there's the garage just behind that. My spray booth is just in the corner, just in over there. So and that's in the garage and then I think it'd be nice if I could do it all inside and just duct it outside and 
But uh, I don't know, maybe I should take this stuff out. Uh, I don't know. I've got most of my tools, what I need on the bench, like uh, my files and whatnot. I've got, I've got stuff in here. You name it, i got it. And i got you, put this way, I'm not complaining. I'm, well, I'm, look, I'm blessed. I've got loads of room. I really have, but I just don't know. I just can't put my finger on why I come in here and I just don't feel right. And uh, then I've got stuff up here I'm doing. Oh, there. Anyway, let me put this in. This is a local. I was given this. Uh, scratch built. Um, Loco. I've got the wheels for it, they were core scale ones, so I've got slaters, I've got to work on that. There's an easy build mark one I haven't finished. J50, goes really well this, it's got a um, ABC Maxim mini box in it. I did have the old 1833, but, but I, the reason it's in here is because the steps come off, so it's in here to be fixed. A B1, which needs to be finished. Uh, my A4 uh, and one of the other problems is and, I've, and I'm not going to do this again I, I really want to finish these and then I lost my focus trying to do two things I, look, I know some people can probably do half a dozen things and maybe some can do it well but I just feel like I just got to do one thing at a time and I didn't with these and big mistake but I figured I'm not, I'm going to resist the temptation to open any more boxes. I'm going to finish these. I've got to finish it. Will they be perfect? I doubt it. So I've got this. So I'm getting to the stage when I've still got a bit of work to do on the chassis. Like the steps come off the other side. I've got to paint that. But the body I've painted, um, I've got to line it. I'm waiting on plates for that from... Uh, uh, from Diane Carney and... I've got the Fox transfers, so hopefully next week I'm going to put the transfers on. Let's hope I don't make a pig's ear of that. Anyway, that's it. So I'd just be curious to know what you think. And then maybe I just need to reorganise it better. Uh, anyway, that's enough from me. Thanks for watching. Leave a, uh, listen, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, I appreciate uh, uh, critical, um, positive critical feedback. People will say, look, Steve, you've done this wrong. I wouldn't do that. That's fine. Let me know. Thanks for watching.